Hi guys, hope you're well. So we are gonna do a delicious expression of sausages. You're gonna love it. We're gonna do it with a gorgeous mash on a little flatbread, really, really nice. This is my new book, Together. Uh, we've got all kinds of different chapters and this one I absolutely love. This chapter was called Autumnal Fair. That's what we're gonna do. Let me show you how to do it. So here we've got 12 sausages. So we've got a gorgeous Toulouse sausage here. Then we've got a beautiful Cumberland sausage, so a classic. And then we've got some pork and apple sausages. So look, you can get any singular sausage you like. So just mix them up like that. And I'm gonna show you a really cool little hack. So you want two onions, give or take, one white, one red. I'm gonna peel them, and then I'm gonna cut them into quarters, just like that. And take them apart into little petals like that. And these will be perfect to cook in between the sausages. So get the onions, just put them to the side. And then I'm gonna show you how to load them up onto our skewers, flatten out the sausage so they're all roughly around the same length, like that. And then I'm gonna do each one of these into four. So this will serve eight people. That's where we're gonna put our skewers. So we're gonna roast it as one thing. And then once it's cooked, we can cut through it. So I'm just using regular kebab skewers like that. And then what you can do is just put the skewer through the sausage, through the onion, then through the next sausage. Then I'm gonna pick up the opposite, a little white like that and I'm just gonna keep loading it. Doesn't really matter what order you do it. We get the second one, let's go again. Basically, like loading up a normal kebab, and then do exactly the same with the other one. So, I like what we've done. Give it a little drizzle of olive oil. What we're gonna do now is roast this for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit, until golden and delicious and cooked through. Now, next, beautiful red Leicester mash. So here I've got a kilo and a half of lovely Maris Piper potatoes that I've peeled and cooked for about 12, 13 minutes until nice and cooked. Once you've drained them, just let them steam for a little bit like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this hot pot to start melting my butter. I'm gonna use a nice knob of butter into the pan like that. And then I'm gonna add these cooked potatoes like this, and while it's nice and hot, I'll add a little swig of milk. I'm using Red Leicester. I'll cut the cheese in half and remove that little bit of skin. You can get about 130 or so grams of the grated cheese in there. That'll give it an amazing texture, ooziness, seasoning. Just look at that, look at the color. Now, we're just gonna mash it up, and you can kind of keep it sort of smashed and a little bit more rustic or just keep going if you want it silky smooth and shiny. So mash is done, sausages are cooking. Here I've made some lovely, simple, humble onion gravy. Just get a load of onions, slice them up, salt, pepper, in a pan with some olive oil. Sweat them off for about 10, 15 minutes until they're soft. Then I go in with some vinegar, just to give it a sort of twang. You can add a little herb if you want. And then I add a blackberry or blackcurrant jam, just to give a sweetness and a color, and then a little flour and stock. So. Next, let's check the sausages. They've had about 25 minutes. They should be looking good. <laughs> to make this perfect, then a little kiss of honey on the top will glaze these beautiful sausages. So I would just pop that back in the oven for a minute and then let's serve up. I'll serve this on a nice board. The whole point of having a flatbread or a tortilla is that it's handheld. If you're inside and you've got a gas hob, literally put it on like that and give it five seconds, turn it. You wanna lightly heat it up and char it. So there we go. I've got my little flatbread there. I like to put the lovely mash on the top like that and just kind of push it around. Let's get that amazing sausage kebab out. Look at that. Just that little last minute, it's worth it. I promise you. Look at that. Oh! So we can take our knife now and cut in between the little kebabs like that. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I'll come along with just a little bit of that onion gravy and then our little bit of slaw here. Come on. Right, finger on the last sausage, pull out the kebab, right? Then just fold up this beautiful package. Oh, find a little quiet corner. Make sure no one's around. Go away, everyone. It's kind of like amazing, delicious, filthy. It feels naughty, but it's nice. Oh, it's got stodgy, it's got crispy bits, crunchy bits. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please enjoy the book, get cooking. I've got to eat this and then clear up.